Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to another Keller Williams Command training video. My name is Marty Miller with Summit Property Group in Houston, Texas. And a question that I've seen occur oftentimes is when will we, when will we be able to create custom lead sources? And while I do believe the labs team is working hard on that ability, um, right now there is a way to create them right now for those of you that are jonesing and really want to have them in your database immediately. And that's what I'm here to show you today. So the first thing we're going to do is click on contacts and we want to import and download the pre-made CSV file. So let's download that. You'll see we get the spreadsheet down here at the bottom. And in order to get that test created, we have to put in a kind of a fake contact, if you will. So let's just say source test is going to be, whoops, is our client name, source test. Uh, we can put in email at test1 at gmail.com. And then at the very end, towards the end, if you will, you'll see source. Column AW has source. So, um, for example, if I wanted to track the return on investment for my um, Easter pie day, let's say every Easter I give out pies, and in doing so, I always ask my past clients that receive the pies if they know of anyone that is looking to buy, sell, or invest as we're handing out pies, um, you know, attempting to track what kind of contacts are coming in from that exercise and if it's truly a good use of our money. So I could put in the source would be Easter pie day. That way I can track any contacts that got added that day, the source would be Easter Pie Day when I put them into command. So what I want to do once I've done that is click on File, Save As, and want to find a place basically to save that on your computer where you're going to know it is. Let me just save it as a desktop right now. And let's say Pie Day Import Test. So we'll just save it as that. Next, we're going to go into Command. And now that we have a file to download or browse or drop in, if you will, let's find our desktop. And here's our Pi Day test import. So we're going to find that file that we created with the one source created in it, and we're going to import the contact. Now, this should only take a second or two, and we should have Mr. Source Test or Mrs. Source Test, I guess, uh, added into our database. So we can do a search for source and Let's see if they came in. Well, it's giving us all of our contacts and it may not have actually filtered in. Here we are, so it did show up. Source test is our fake contact and you can see here the source is Easter Pie Day. So in the future now, if I put in additional contacts, I can now choose as a lead source Easter Pie Day. And now that it is a lead source that has been created in my system, I can come back out, I can archive and then later delete this contact because I no longer need it. It was just a, a way to get that lead source into my system. And now that person is out of my actual system. And yet again, if I wanna go in and add contacts, I could. Let's just put in one more to show. You could do lead source, Easter pie day, and then create. And then later on, if I wanted to do a filter and say, hey, it's Easter 2020 and I want to know how many contacts came in from last year, I could always do a filter. Let's do a quick refresh there. And we would do a filter with lead source over here selected. And we would want to select Easter Pie Day, click on apply. And you would see we had at least one contact come in from Easter Pie Day. You could make that source Easter Pie Day 2019. Um, whatever you really wanted, whatever source that you are attempting to track, that is the way that is being done right now. Now, as I said, I do believe that the labs team is creating a way uh, in the future for you to have your own custom lead sources. And yet I know a lot of people are working on importing their database right now and want to be able to sort by that custom lead source. So uh, that is one way you could do that by uh, you know watching this video. Other thing too, if you have three contacts, you wanna do a select, um, bulk action right now you cannot add all three of those to a source so you would actually have to come in you would have to edit and then you would have to come back through and change that lead source to pi day so unfortunately if you've already imported your uh, database and you wanted to create a lead source for several of them going backwards may be a little bit more difficult um, however moving forward 
you can create those lead sources and then do your import after that. As always, guys, it's a pleasure talking to you. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Facebook, send me a text, email me, and uh, I'd be happy to answer anything that I can. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and uh, thanks so much for watching this video.